Hi students, <coughs> welcome to NIRS education. In the previous session, already we have seen what is soil erosion and what are the causes for the soil erosion. So now let's move towards the next concept that is effects of soil erosion. So soil erosion actually <coughs> it is uh, results in the following uh, human crises. Actually, there are uh, <coughs> so many uh, effects are there because of the soil erosion. Those are the loss of fertility and uh, desertification. So, soil erosion results in the displacement of the top soil of the soil from one region to another. So, it will result in the reducing its fertility when the top fertile soil is going to move from the one place to another place. So, the place from where the top soil is removed, so that will lose its complete fertility. And uh, <coughs> only the infertile subsoil is left behind in such a soil only uh, the plants which can grow in the deserts and uh, which have uh, the sparse vegetation that can only grow so in this way the soil erosion gradually turns the lush green areas into the deserts so that will the most dangerous effect of the soil erosion. So next is landslides in the hilly areas. So already we know that due to the heavy rains, due to the deforestation, the hills or the hilltops with sparse vegetation are constantly exposed to the heavy rainfall. So that will make the top soil of the hills to lose. So due to these kinds of the soil erosions, rock pieces of the various sizes and uh, loose soil from hills suddenly slides down uh, into the uh, downwards uh, downward areas. Uh, they will slide down the steep slopes of the mountains or the hills. So this uh, loosening of the top soil of the hills as well as uh, the rocks is uh, considered as uh, the land slides. So when these rock pieces and uh, soil block the narrow river bed, they result in the floods. So the rock pieces as well as the soil block the narrow river beds so that will not allow to flow the river water normally so that will result the floods sometimes these uh, landslides block the roads and uh, dispute the hill life so many times uh, already we have uh, read in the newspapers already we have seen in the news uh, TV channels so they are showing that how the uh, hill stations how the hills are going to slide and uh, how they are going to block the roads as well so <clears throat> the landslides occasionally kill the people living in the downhill areas and uh, they destroys their dwellings so the toxic agricultural industrial chemical uh, that move downhill and uh, downstream uh, with the displaced soil uh, they will tend to disturb the soil quality also. So the one more effect of the soil erosion is uh, flash floods. So already we have discussed about the floods that vegetation in the hilly regions absorbs a lot of rainwater and uh, keep the top soil uh, intact. 
so the top hills or the hills with the sparse vegetation uh, cannot absorb much more water so the time thus the soil intact so the heavy rains results in the rapid movement of water in the areas uh, where the water is not going to absorbed by the soil properly and uh, that will results in the flash floods so the lower area is causing the enormous loss of uh, life as well as uh, the properties so this is actually the main effect of uh, the soil erosion in the uh, tops uh, of the hills where the people are living they will get almost all time the problem problems like these so the one more effect of the soil erosion is uh, famines so that is excessive shortage of the food so the continuous soil erosion from a region removes the fertile top soil so that already we know so leaving behind only the infertile soil is it so the texture change uh, eroded soil reduces its water holding capacity so already we know that uh, the fertile soil contains the all the kind of uh, the particles that will helps it to absorb the water that will helps it uh, to give a proper grip to grow the plants and uh, that will help in uh, uh, keeping up the maximum quantity of the water but uh, the soil which has uh, only the large type of the soil particles so that doesn't have the capacity of water holding for a long time so uh, that will reduces the water holding capacity and uh, the crops thus cannot grow in such infertile kind of the soil so the dry soil leading to the shortage of food grains in that uh, particular reasons so in the same way uh, the situations leads to uh, famine in an areas so that will be the very uh, problematic effect of uh, the soil erosion so maximum the people are suffering uh, by the lack of the food and they will not get the proper kind of the nutrients uh, in the food what they are actually growing and uh, the one more uh, effect of the soil erosion is silting of water reservoirs so when these conditions takes place the top soil when washed down by the water uh, clogs drains water channels etc due to the deposition so the silt pollutes the water the silt pollutes the water the problem of silting in water reservoirs lowers the water level in them so which ultimately leads to the shortage of the production by the hydroelectric power stations so due to the uh, silting of water reservoirs so the waste material and uh, the soil uh, which is eroded uh, that is going to uh, settle down in the water reservoirs that will uh, decreases the uh, water holding capacity of the reservoirs and uh, the quantity of the water that exactly which is going to store in those reservoirs definitely that will be decreases so that is also the one of the problem of uh, the effect of the soil erosion so the lastly uh, the positive effects of the soil erosion that uh, uh, we will discuss <coughs> in the next session so regarding the prevention of soil erosion and uh, the positive effects that we will discuss in the next session thank you and have a nice day